Real life street stars, we him OB and Jack. What it is, buddy? Hey, OB and what's good from Baton Rouge all the way to Dallas, Texas? You feel me? We hey, in here. Hey man, for all you niggas ain't knowing deaf, dumb, stupid, living up under a rock, man. Tell them how you got in this rap game, man. Um, shit, well, really, to be honest, I got my bro with me, you feel me? I started this show. HD, HD the president, what it is? HD for HD. president. HD, HD. Don't, don't get like nothing guy. wrong, yes, you feel me? We need everything to be right. You search his name, HD for president, you feel me? Hey, bro, the, this nigga be having me rolling, man. This nigga crazy. Hey, bro, the realest in the game, you feel me? Bro started off recording me in like 2017, just, I'm in high school, I probably get off, hit him up. You feel me? He way older. He like 10 years older. He always had a studio going. Woo, woo, woo. I pull up pull up on him like back in 2017. He, he always have his own songs, his own. He already had content. Woo, woo, woo. People was rocking with it the way they wanted to. Woo, woo. He'll have songs for me. I get to the studio. He'll have songs like he want to give them to me like songwriter type shit. He been on like big, big ball shit. You feel me? I never really fuck with the songwriter shit. He had fire songs, but I just was trying to find myself before I just take a song from him. You feel me? He understood it real good. It wasn't never no like, oh, I don't want the song. Cause the songs was fire, but I was too worried about my progress. So I was trying to find myself, but bro recorded me back in 2017. And shit, he was just rocking with me no matter what. Just recording me behind the scenes, just being a brother. like. You know what I'm saying? A real friend, a real fuck the media and trying to get clout. We ain't even, clout came to us, you know, just organically. But uh, I started recording with him in 2017 at Lil Studios, woo woo, and releasing that shit. And when it came out, it really, it did good. Like the songs that we was recording did good. Bro never asked me for, even though he was rapping already and recording me, he never asked me for like one single song, one verse, one hook. Nothing, you feel me? Just record, keep going hard, keep do your thing and salute. Like I, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with what's what's going on, and that's the realest thing he could have did. You feel me? Because most times when you come up, it be like people feel like you arm something. HD wasn't that person. You feel me? And the first time he called me, guess what? I was five minutes. He called me like, bro, okay, I'm I'm dropping now. I'm doing my thing. I want you on something. He called me five minutes, I pull up to his house, we drop, and the song do a million in a month. You feel me? That just show you how God work and how, how. What's the name of that song? Bow, bow, bow. I'm pretty bow, sure bow. The, the whole world know it. <laughs> yeah. You know what Boosie hollering. You know what the world hollering, nigga, like Boosie. Say. Like, Boo <laughs> voice. Yeah. Shout out Badass, too. You know what I'm saying? You know what the world hollering. And he got songs with Badass and Mo, you know, bigger artists than, than me. The shit, open this shit up for him. I'm happy for him, for real, for real. But that's how I started out. How, how often do you come across organic relationships like the one you have with HD? 95%. I mean, not 95, probably about 5%. 95% of the times is people want clout. 95% of the times people want clout. They, don't, they could give a fuck about your personal life. You feel me? 5% people, I give it motherfucking 97%. 3% people is like HD. Cause there's other artists I put on and did shit for and I just don't feel the same way. I fuck with them, rock with them all the way. I don't feel the same way. They got other artists bigger than HD who I know fuck with my music. Kids fuck with they, whatever. About 3%, you feel me? So I really, really fuck, I can't wait till he blow up. You feel me? That way, all the way retarded. That's what's up, man. I, I, I will say, man, the listening party we had today, it felt like a party. Like yeah. every song you play, That's everybody was me. into it. And it's crazy because for somebody who never heard your music to come in, it was like you could see people already chanting your songs and fucking with it. You know, um, I think it's unique when you know everybody talking about sliding and killing a lot right now, but you, you making fun of the party, you making good fun music. Like, why did you take that route? Like, what made you take that route? Um. You know, when I when I look at artists who, who making a lot of drill music and uh the cause and effect of their drill music, cause I'm a I'm an artist who 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 resource who who research a lot and, and have resources. So I ain't an artist who just okay, I did all this shit on my own. Uh, like I ain't got no inspiration or something or people don't motivate me because there's so many artists out there, new artists and and it's different type of music. I see what's coming behind this drill music, this Instagram beef, this 
just extra shit, not music, shit outside of music. That you feel me? The streets and music don't rap. You gonna rap, rap. You gonna do business, business. You gonna fucking kill a nigga, kill him. But I ain't it, all that shit don't mix together. You feel me? So Amen. Amen. I come from where my family was in real smoke, real death, real murder ones. Seven, eight, nine, ten years old. They giving us guns and shit. They giving us walk around the hood like this. I've been through some real shit. So as far as me trying to look gangster, and I don't care about looking gangster. I like to look fly. I tell my niggas look fly. I tell my niggas do fly shit. I tell my niggas do ball shit. I tell my niggas get money. I tell my niggas, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no bitch ass nigga. See, bitch ass niggas try to make it look gangster because they been bullied or something or they been mistreated or something and now they got enough bread to do this and look like this and they got enough bread to have 10 niggas in this bitch all strapped up and if you move wrong, a nigga gonna flat you in this bitch. They got enough money to do that shit now, so they do that shit, but I'm on some shit. Let my career take me where I need to go, you feel me? I don't wanna too much have to go to jail. Fuck that shit, you feel me? Y'all rocking with me, y'all, you you feel me? Right, y'all yeah. rocking with the music, fuck the other shit. I'm, I've am i been in all kind of shit. Yeah. I ain't gotta prove that. If you listen to my music, you will, you will catch a feeling. You will, oh shit, Jay really talking that shit. Yeah. How did he come up with it? Oh, cause he lived it. You know what I'm saying? Is it, I gotta ask, is it hard for you to pick a single? Cause out of the night, it, it was about four, five singles. I'm like, four, five, and five. that's how it is, bro. I, I probably got 15 songs on my <laughs> album, probably seven video shots, singles. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's half the, that's oh, that's damn near half the take. That's so singles and shit. They don't be hard to pick because just like I, I put that lineup together, and baby, like send me the lineup. I put it together. It wasn't kind of hard to for me to pick out these songs because. It'd be a lot of songs that you could tell, okay, this bitch a single. You know what I'm saying? You could tell this bitch. You might not know where to hook at, but you, this bitch so, damn, I don't know what I like about it. It's so short, it's so catchy, it's so, I'm just speaking how I want to speak. I'm stepping, I'm, I'm making everybody comprehend me the right way and which way I want to be, you know what I'm saying, seen. I say what I say, I say what I live. You feel me? Everything else is bullshit. I'm just working, like, you feel me? And I hope the world see me how I want to be seen. I hope. The words I'm saying, cause at the same time, people will make a fucking problem for every solution. You say, damn, I was sleeping on the floor, woo woo woo, and now you come up. People will make a problem that you rich now. People make a problem that you doing shit another way. So I, don't, I really just try to keep myself balanced. Like not let people trick me out of my position for having something more than the trenches. I still rock with the trenches. I still make music for the trenches. I still, do shit where you can feel me, the people who, cause I ain't grow up rich. I had to, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still trying to get to a certain point to where, you know, so. Amen. Now, uh, earlier you said, I'm from Louisiana, but I don't sound like nobody out of there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Tell us how long it came for you to derive your own style and something unique that's I had to, to I had to use other people's styles to find my own. Mm. I must Girl. admit, I was getting on, a young boy, NBA young boy type beat, NBA young boy remix, remake uh, instrumental. I was getting on the Kevin Gates instrumental. I was getting on the Boosie Badass instrumental. You feel me? I don't got a, a problem with saying that these guys influenced me just on some Louisiana shit, just on some culture shit. You feel me? These people right from down the street, the same street, me and Badass from the same street, Badass, Webby, Kevin Gates, woo, we from the same hood. These bigger artists. You feel me? So I never had a problem with accepting that I needed to hop on shit that people already like to find out what type of shit that I need to make for myself. If I can hop on something that's the the the, the city love it, you feel me? We're gonna start small, the city love it, and I can find my own flow on the same shit that already came out and it sound totally different. I'm fucking in there. I ain't gotta, you know what I'm saying? So I must admit. These rappers like NBA Young Boy, all the new rappers, all the Baton Rouge, even from Lil Wayne, he from New Orleans, but you know, all these people, juvenile, all these people contributed to a nigga sound. So I can't just not leave, you no, know, the whole Louisiana, I had to find different shit, remixes, remakes, re, all kind of shit. So, you know what I'm saying? The whole city motivated me, inspired me to create a sound that I don't have to, you know. Amen. Now, uh, 
Oh, be in has artists. Why don't you uh, give us a little rundown of some of your artists? Shout out Hot from. Boy, Hot Boy Day. You feel me? Cardi, that's my, that's my. We haven't signed yet, but he's my first. He's on my radar. You feel me? He hard. Lafayette, Louisiana. Young, twenty one year old. You feel me? And he gonna be stepping how I'm stepping. I ain't trying to hold this shit. I ain't trying to be the big boss. I ain't trying to. I got my bro here. HD for president. I got my other bro here, Sancho. He rap too. I got my other bro here, Flex. You hear me? He do shit. I got my other bro, my my sis, my my people. I everybody here. So I don't know. I'm just trying to build an empire to where this shit is is can't be stopped. Everybody on top. You feel me? And I don't care about getting passed up. You feel me? Amen. How, how did they get in contact with you if they want any bookings or features? How would they do that? Uh, right now you can hit up my. My motherfucking booking, my booking person, Duke, Alex, you feel me, Alex? You, I got my booking person in my bio on Instagram. I also, I'm starting to, I just stepped into a new management lane with Ryan Fionda, you feel me? So right now, either Duke or Ryan Fionda, you feel me? Amen. That way. OBNJ, man, we salute you, man. We love everybody you doing the music. Five minutes. We appreciate you giving us a little bit of your time, brother. Appreciate y'all. Real life street store. Yes, sir. For real. Appreciate y'all, man.